Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use OBS in order to capture a video device such as your webcam, how to add your microphone as an audio input, how to capture a window. In this, I'm gonna use an application called Animes, but you can do the same thing with a web browser, video games, as well as how to add an image mask. For those new to the tool, free, feel free to take this intro section to become familiar with the interface. This center section is what would be shown to the user. You have scenes that will be things that you can set up of what you want to show to a user at any given time. Sources themselves are things within that scene. Like it can be the camera, it can be your audio device, it can be a video game, uh, it could be images. Your audio mixer, this will be all your different sounds that you have. Your scene transitions. This will be how do you transition from a scene? Do you want it to be a fade? Do you want it to be a cut? Um, you also have other items such as swiping, moving, stingers, advanced features. And then the controls for your stream, whether you want to start it, um, record it. You can add a virtual camera, which I'm actually going to be doing because I'm recording this with another instance of OBS. Um, and then you have studio mode where you can see a scene that you want to eventually trans transition to a scene you eventually want to transition to, as well as the current scene that viewers will be seeing. And then you have general settings. All right, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So when you start OBS, you will always have like a default scene and you can have different scene collections. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my web camera. I'm gonna click down here with add source, and then I'm gonna select video capture device. Um, you can name it anything you want. I'll just say webcam. I'll click OK. And then from the device dropdown, depending on how many devices you have, and if you have additional virtual devices, you may have you know a list of different devices to choose from. Normally, I would choose Elgato Facecam. Um, however, I am using my other instance of OBS as a virtual camera. So I'm going to click that, and I will click OK. By the way, just a little tip here. You can run multiple instances of OBS. And the way that I did that was click um, underneath this start virtual camera. I click the gear icon and then you can do the default output such as what I'm seeing. You can have the preview being a virtual camera, a scene, which you then get to select what scene you want to be in the virtual camera or a source as well. So now what we have in OBS is, you know, if I were to stream this or record this, this is what would be the actual output and it would be in 1080p, but there is no audio. Notice the audio mixer, there's nothing down here. So it would just be a video with nothing that could be heard. In order to add, for example, my microphone, there's two ways to do it, directly to a scene when it comes to audio, or I can add it globally. So let's see both ways. So if I, Click this plus icon underneath sources, underneath this scene. I'll click audio input capture. I can change the name, so I might say wavelength. Click OK. And then from the device drop down, you'll just select your proper input device uh, that's um, for your microphone. And now notice in the audio mixer, now we have sound levels. You can also add an audio filter by clicking on the source and click on filters. Click the plus icon. One that I always add is noise suppression. That helps um, for like humming noises. For example, my microphone's pretty close to my computer. I can hear it. Hopefully you should not be able to hear it. I always add noise suppression. And you have these different methods uh, on here. And if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, it might need to be RTX. You can use that as well to do the noise removal. Um, I get good results by just the default settings, but you can choose other ones as well. So now we have a webcam and now we have a, um, a audio input device. And notice my audio is popping higher. So what I might do is just lower that level. And then what I can do is, let's say I wanna add another scene. I'll just click underneath scenes, the plus icon. So if I click the plus icon, I can click audio input capture. My, um, my microphone is default, but I'll just select it here as well. So now I have the audio in both of those scenes. The webcam is only in the first scene. Um, I can add that webcam by clicking the plus icon, video capture device. Since I've already created a source for a video capture device, it's then selectable. In this scene, it looks like this. If I click on studio mode, 
this allows me to see the current scene and then the scene that I want to transition to um, in this case. The preview scene on the right hand side, the users would not see this during my stream or my, my recording. This is strictly for me. They would always see what's in the program screen. I can change it to fade. And there you go. So we have the preview and then the then the program scene. I'm going to show you how to add to capture uh, a window from a program. Uh, specifically, I have a program called Animes that I'm going to uh, capture. I'm going to click the Add icon, and I'm going to click on Window Capture, and I'm just going to call this Animes. And then you'll want to select the window that corresponds to what you want to capture. And here's the name of the executable. And there we go. And then again, I'm going to Control F or Command F. Um, in order to do it full screen. And then, uh, so now I have the window of the application, but it is above my webcam. So I'm gonna bring that down. Now my webcam is above. Um, if I hold down the Alt key on Windows, I can then bring that in and crop that in a little bit on my webcam. So there we go. Um, this is a, anime is actually a pretty cool little piece of software um, that I'm able to, um, so able to capture my voice. Um, it can actually capture my head movement too. So while I'm here really quick, let me take this full screen. Let me go down here to the gear icon. Let's go to webcam. I'm gonna add a source and I'm gonna say OBS virtual cam. There we go. That's the cool thing with virtual cameras. You can uh, share it with multiple devices. So there we go. You see the character is following me. Um, so really like animes. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and close this. Now, in addition, what I can do is I can add an image mask on my on my camera down here. But the way that you have to do it, um, you need to add another scene. The reason why it's going to make sense is let me go to the webcam and let me actually rename my scene so it makes more sense. Let's ch ch change this to animes. I'll say app dash animes. And I'm going to go to studio mode. Uh, the reason why I'm going to studio mode is if you click on, anytime you click on a scene, it's going to transition. So there are times that you might want to modify something in a scene without changing what the user is seeing. So I'm going to come down here and uh, just change the name of it. And I'll just say main camera. There we go. Get out of studio mode. All right. So what I can do is let's say I want to add a filter around my camera. Let's go to filters. Let's add a image mask. Change the type from alpha mask color channel to alpha mask alpha channel. Click browse. And then just choose the image mask that you would like. Um, here's a circle that I have. So um, it's cut off because I cropped it. So I'd have to bring that cropping back up. And then if you go back to the main camera and actually I, Here's a good reason why you want to use studio mode. If I click back on main camera, notice the main camera also has that. That's not what I want. I want my main camera to still be full without the mask. So that's the problem when you add it to a source because that source is within the main camera itself for the webcam. So to fix this, what I can do is I'm going to add another source and I'm going to say main camera with mask. I'm going to drop it down here. And something I also do is sometimes I just add a space and I'll just say overlays. I just add another scene called overlays. I never really click on it. It's just a way to divide it in the interface. So now what I can do is on the main camera with mask, I'm going to add a scene and that scene is going to be just my main camera. So what I'll do is I will, I need to go back to the webcam, go to filters, Remove that. And then now on this main camera with mask, I'm going to add it actually on this entire scene. So come in here, image mask, change it to alpha channel, browse, and then add that image mask that you like. And then in app animes, I'm going to remove the web camera and I'm going to add that scene that I created, camera with mask. 
and then I need to bring it down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transition. So now I've made my changes. And there we go. So now we have that. And if I go back to my main camera, notice my main camera is still the same and we can transition. So that's a good way of how you can capture an application then have a different view in this case, as well as add that image mask to a different scene without compromising your main camera where you're talking to your audience. So hopefully this has been a helpful video uh, and a brief introduction to OBS and how to add different sources, uh, scenes, uh, and filters. So um, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.